I'm working on a paper with Armin Falk and Jean Thoreau on the determinants of moral behavior, and in particular the role of what are called narratives in it, narratives being the types of stories or rationales that we give each other, or sometimes ourselves, uh, to justify acting selfishly or to push others to act morally. And we're interested in what are the incentives for uh, coming up with either these positive or negative rationales, uh, how they are transmitted to one another, how they might become contagious, and that in turn shapes how good a society or bad a society we end up living in, or um, that determines how the same society at some times can act very morally, at others very immorally. Uh, let me pick a paper or a set of papers from outside of economics by a psychologist named Ziva Kunda, who worked a lot on this idea of motivated thinking or motivated uh, cognition. Um, the general idea is that people have a tendency to uh, not exactly believe uh, what they want to believe, but to distort their beliefs to some extent in that direction. She had some very nice early experiments on how uh, we, that is most of us, resist information that threatens the beliefs we want to uh, maintain and on the contrary embrace information that seems to support them. That's influenced me and in fact there's a lot of uh, work in economics these days, both on the theoretical side, some of the stuff that John and I have done on motivated beliefs, and also on the experimental side. And all of this, I think, uh, traces it, some of its roots back to uh, that work. There are many. Uh, let me pick one that is related to uh, the previous topic, namely that of beliefs. Uh, and that question would be that of uh, irrational pessimism or irrational fears. We now have a lot of work, good models, reasonably good evidence on irrational optimism, overconfidence of individuals, of markets, of managers. We have models of that, but we've not paid much attention to the fact that sometimes people are irrationally pessimistic or irrationally afraid uh, are uh, an extreme example. To me, that seems like an equally important topic, uh, in particular, because um, when people are irrationally afraid, then they seek irrational answers or irrational remedies to those fears, and that can also have uh, very negative consequences. I am Roland Benabou, Professor of Economics at Princeton University.